But I've been doing this for a while. But what is different this year? Obviously, as you said, the public executions, um, the, the, the lynchings of, uh, of, of, of blacks. What we've seen different this year is em employee response. What caught me off guard and what caught my team off guard was that the, even though we had uh, a large percentage of the workforce working virtually, they put on a lot of they put a lot of pressure on their companies to take a stand. Now that may not seem like a big deal, but before that, and even going um, back as as recent as 2015, 16, when we saw the deaths of Trayvon and, and Eric and Michael, you didn't you didn't have that. And in fact, you had just the opposite. Companies were telling employees, we don't talk about race, religion, whatever happens outside stays outside. You get paid to come here to work. And employees were like, oh, okay. Now, what we saw in 2020 was that you saw the, the Black Lives Matter and the, uh, the, the protest on your television screen. What you may not have seen was that there was an equal and, and powerful protest of employees going to their companies and saying, what's up? Where do we stand with this? Mm -hmm. What we saw was that un, um, companies in their haste to patronize, and I'm, let me keep it real. By all means. Patronize and pacify their employees, put out these quick, you know, uh, milly mouth, that's what my grandmom used to call them, milly mouth <laughs> statements, you know, um, saying, you know, um, Black Lives Matter, you know, diversity is good. And then that fell flat because their employees was, first of all, that's a weak statement. Second of all, you've not done anything up until, not everybody, mm -hmm. but in some, a lot of cases, companies had not done anything. And then they put out not only a statement, but a bad statement. That's when my phone start ringing off the hook. 